My name is Toria McLean and I am a trustee and member of the Society of Designer Craftsmen and I'd like to welcome you to some of the highlights of our summer exhibition Designer Crafts The Hand of the Maker 2018. We are exhibiting this year in Chelsea College of Arts in the Triangle and the Cook House Gallery. This is our 130th year of exhibiting. The Society of Designer Craftsmen started as the Arts and Crafts Exhibition Society with founding members including Walter Crane and William Morris and they had their first exhibition in the new gallery on Regent Street in 1888. The Society is very proud of its long-standing history and illustrious members, all of whom have to be assessed before entry to the Society by uh, Fellows of the Society. We have currently 500 members made up of licentiates, members and fellows. The new licentiates are new graduates and the licentiate scheme is uh, a bridge between uh, a maker becoming uh, a new maker to becoming an accomplished maker, at which point they're expected to apply for full membership within five years of joining. At this exhibition, we have new licentiates who are exhibiting in the cookhouse, Linda Dangor, Megan Adams, Kuniko Maida, Jessica Mulsha and Elena Ward. Kuniko Maida is a graduate of Chelsea College of Arts. She graduated in 2016 with an MA in textiles. As part of our um, responsibility to uh, our members, we can upgrade people uh, licentiates and new licentiates at the exhibition because we can see their work and see the quality and the presentation. So Kuniko was one of our new licentiates who was upgraded at this exhibition because of the quality of her work. There were other upgrades from our current licentiates. Diana McKinnon is an embroiderer, she was upgraded. Naomi Beavers, Geraldine Festenstein, uh, Jessica Noble and Christine Johnson. We have also awarded fellowship to four of our current members. Fellowship is awarded to um, people for two reasons. One is for commitment to crafts, so it's not necessarily to a member. It could be somebody in another organisation who is devoted to crafts in general. And also for our members who are outstanding in their work. So uh, Hugh Miller, Joey Richardson, Sarah Perry and Catherine Schillings and she actually has her studio at London Glass Blowing with Peter Layton who's also one of our fellows. Peter Layton has been commissioned by the Royal Collection Trust to create work for the exhibition Prince and Patron. Some of the highlights that we will be giving today are of members work in the Cookhouse Gallery, the Triangle Gallery and also our famous shop within the show uh, where we allow members of the public to come in and actually purchase our members' work on the day. I'm Jessica Noble and I'm a trustee and member of the Society of Designer Craftsmen. I'd like to show you today some of our highlights from some of our newer and more esteemed makers, um, some of their awards and some of their select commissions. This is Sarah Perry, one of our esteemed ceramicists. We have, in 2018, awarded Sarah with the highest level uh, you can be awarded as a society member, which is a fellowship. That's for the excellence in her work and craftsmanship. I'd like to introduce you to some of my own pieces that I create um, as a jeweller and silversmith. Um, I'm very happy to have been awarded the Society of Designer Craftsmen Prize for excellence in the work of a licentiate. My work very much focuses on form, light and colour, whereby everything is created by hand using hammers and stakes, so it's creating very spontaneous and fluid forms. Another one of our celebrated members is Hugh Miller. Hugh Miller, who previously was an architect and is now a furniture designer and has been awarded the Winston Churchill Memorial Fellowship, where he was lucky enough to travel to Japan to learn all about the different crafts and techniques he found out there, which has influenced his work. We have also, in 2018, awarded Hugh with fellowship for his excellence in his craft as well. Joey Richardson has also been awarded our fellowship 
um, for excellence in her work. Joey Richardson has previously had a Quest scholarship where she learned a lot about her techniques that has influenced her very intricate, hand-turned, carved and pierced wood. Another of our regarded makers is Sam Fanneroff. Sam has been awarded the British Empire Medal for his services to craft. He's a Fellow of the Society of Designer Craftsmen and has been awarded the Keith Bailey Award. The Keith Bailey Award was given to us by members of Keith Bailey's family following his passing. We've given the award to Sam Fanneroff for his services in craft. Christine Johnson is one of our jewellers who has just been upgraded to full member of the Society of Designer Craftsmen as an award for her excellence in work. We would also at the Society like to welcome some of our newer members who are new graduates and new licentiate members of the Society. We have Ros Adams whose work in metal um, we feel is exceptional. We have Naomi Jacks who works in fragmented and broken refused glass pieces. We have Nelson Ware who is a leather worker. Julie Heaton has had her latest work selected for Grayson Perry's Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Adam Aronson works in glass and has recently been commissioned by Mary Branson to produce the glass for her latest artwork in the Houses of Parliament titled New Dawn. We also have another award given to Linda Ledecker, who is a surface textile designer. She won the Polly Weiss Award for Colour in Textiles of a New Licentiate. For more information on the Society and its current exhibition and the work of our members outside of the Society, uh, please have a look at the Society's website and uh, you can also subscribe at the bottom of our website to receive email notifications of future events. Thank you.